Hi, everybody. This is Gat Saad. Returned a few days ago from uh, a major media tour to promote my book, which came out a week ago, The Sad Truth About Happiness, Eight Secrets for Leading the Good Life. Please consider ordering it ASAP. It's doing so far very well. It's a very positive, very uplifting book. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy it. In any case, I wasn't going to comment today about this because, you know, I'm immersed in all things happiness, but uh, departures from reason and common sense and reality is a pathway to unhappiness, so I can't help but comment. Uh, this is about a clip from astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is obviously way smarter than most of us because, you know, he's an astrophysicist who, who's not really published anything, but, you know, he just speaks in a way that uh, clearly shows that he's smarter than the rest of us plebs, the great unwashed, the rubes. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to play his clip and then I'm going to show you how I fully agree with his theory that gender is on a spectrum. So unlike what I've been taught through evolutionary psychology and through Darwin, that there are two phenotypes in the uh, human species, male and female, and we're a sexually reproducing species, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson knows that gender is on a spectrum. So first, enjoy the clip, and then I'll come back. Apparently, the XXXY chromosomes are insufficient because when we wake up in the morning, we exaggerate whatever feature we want to portray the gender of our choice. Mm. Either the one you're assigned, the one you choose to be, whatever it is. And so now, here, so so now just to, to tie a bow on this, I say to you, somewhere I read, somewhere I, I think I read that the United States was a land where we have the pursuit of happiness. Yes. Suppose no matter my chromosomes, today I feel 80% female, 20% male. I'm going to I'm going to put on makeup. I'm going to do that. Um, tomorrow I might feel 80% male. I'll remove the makeup and I'll wear a muscle shirt. Why do you care? Yeah. What 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 business it is it of yours to require that I fulfill your inability to think of gender on a spectrum? Hi, everybody. Did you enjoy this luminary clip from Neil deGrasse Tyson? I mean, just the way that he was speaking, his affectations suggested that he was onto something. He just sounds sharp. And of course, science has settled it and it's on his side. And so I wanted to show you that I actually agree. Because remember, he said, you know, today I feel like I'm 80% male. I, I don't wear makeup. Tomorrow I'm, you know, I feel 80% female. I you know, I, I wear makeup and so on. So because male and female is really not about chromosomes. It's not about anatomical differences, physiological differences, behavioral differences, hormonal differences, morphological differences. It's not the 117 billion people that have existed throughout humanity and that exactly knew what male and female were, were corrected when Neil deGrasse Tyson, that's why he's a physicist. He's, he works on a different plane, just like his brain has been lost in a black hole. And so what I thought I would do is show you how right now I'm 100% male. Okay, you see it? Now watch this. No, no, this is not this one. I'm going to wear this one. This is, see this one? I'm wearing this, it looks nice. Now I'm about 20% female, okay? Because this is sexy. It's, it's, it's aposomatic coloring. I'm demonstrating that I am... Uh, ideologically fierce with my hair coloring, but that's only about 20% female. Now this one is pink and we know that pink is female. We know that from science. And so therefore, just like my uh, guru, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you could see now I'm, I'm moving. I'm 40% female. You see the difference? You see how I'm moving? I started off as the epitome of manhood. Then I wore the green wig, short hair, which shows that I'm, you know, yes, I'm a woman, but not fully woman because I don't have long hair. Then I changed to longer hair, pink. That's that's good. That's 40%. Then I'm going to wear this one. This one is long-haired. So I don't know how to put this. Uh, 
so as you can see here, it's very sexy. So it's that now I'm a lot more female. But now remember, oh, look what I got. See, if I just go like this, you're talking now about 50% female. You see it? Look now. There goes 60. 80. And watch now, watch. 100% female. Look, you see it? I'm completely, look at the transformation. This is why he's an astrophysicist. He's smart. He's not dumb like the rest of you, believing in all that sex differences, binary male, female. Now watch, I'm going to take off my hat, but I'm, I'm not my hat, my, 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 my femininity, my, my wig. But now I'm, st I still have the lipstick. So now you're talking about 35% female. So I, I was, I tried to invite, uh, Dr. The Grass Tyson, you know, who's just one of the smartest guys I know, uh, on the show, because I wanted to demonstrate to him that I agree wholeheartedly with his research, with his thought process. Uh, but he hasn't accepted yet. I'm keeping my fingers crossed as, uh, I think the two of us can have a great conversation. I'm a strong woman, a strong Middle Eastern woman. By the way, I'm, I'm a woman because I'm wearing lipstick. And he's a strong, you know, physicist of color. So together, we can hopefully show the world what real gender spectrum is. Be happy, people. Believe me, today was a rough day. I'll talk about it maybe at some other times. But uh, nothing can pu pull me down as long as I've got the love of th those who matter, as long as I've got God willing health, as long as I've got love, all the haters. Take care, everybody. Be resilient. Be anti-fragile. Cheers.